It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. The King and the Monsters have a brand new movie coming out this December in America. Godzilla Spotted Approaching America, new Japanese production arriving in December. The world favorite 100 foot tall ranging kaiju is about to make a landfill just in time for the holiday movie season. According to an announcement today from Japan's Toho International, Godzilla Minus One, the first Japanese produced Godzilla film since Shin Godzilla in 2016, will debut in Japan on November the 3rd, 2023, and will get a theatrical release in the United States on December the 1st. It is just one part of a broader plan for Godzilla to rampage through American media and pop culture in the upcoming month. Set in post-war Japan, Godzilla Minus One will once again show us a Godzilla that is terrifying and overwhelming force, which can already get a sense from the teaser trailer and poster. The concept is that Japan, which has always been demonstrated by the war, faces a new strap of Godzilla, bringing the country into the minus. Fans interested in sampling that long cinematic history can now do so around the clock, in June, Pluto TV and Toe International announced their early July debut of a 24-hour Godzilla channel on Pluto TV featuring over 30 films spanning the errors, including several that are otherwise not available for U.S. fans to stream, and the 1998 and 2000 animated adventure Godzilla the series. First and foremost, the idea of a TV station for Godzilla movies is fantastic, largely because if those have not seen a Godzilla movie before find this channel, they can actually be introduced to the King of the Monsters. Also, there are many movies in the franchise that have like a lot of rights issues for Blu-rays or DVD releases, and so that new TV station will give new fans the opportunity to check out the movies if they do not have any sort of idea what exactly the movie is all about. One thing that immediately caught my eye for the teaser was the fact that the Godzilla design for the teaser reminds me so much about this design for Godzilla the Wide. And for those who have no idea what exactly is Godzilla the Wide, essentially it was actually a ride that was dedicated for Japanese parks. And they have this des design for Godzilla right here. And so when you compare and contrast the design of Godzilla the Ride to the image right here, it's really similar in terms of how they actually render the CGI for it. Speaking about Godzilla the Ride, the director for this movie for Godzilla Minus Zero was also the director of Always 2. Now for the case of Always 2, they have a whole entire sequence where they actually feature Godzilla in the whole entire beginning half of the movie, directed by the same director. And when you look at the design for uh, Godzilla right here, basically it looks somewhere like this. And you can see, again, it looks almost exactly like the design for Godzilla the Ride and the new upcoming movie to come. Finally, this is the poster for the movie, and it's like really simplistic, but it's still very nice to see what it looks like for the design. We can see right here, it's actually Godzilla in front of the G right here, and of course, minus one is like down here when it comes down to the uh, temperature right here. What is also really interesting is the idea that allegedly this movie is going to be a continuation of Shin Godzilla. Now the directors of Shin Godzilla were actually the same sort of people behind Evangelion and so I'm not sure if it's actually a mistranslation or something got lost in the middle of the stuff but I don't understand why this actually is a continuation of Shin Godzilla because if we need to have a continuation of Shin Godzilla why not the original filmmakers that made Shin Godzilla and not a different person to make this particular movie? It just doesn't necessarily, I would say, make any sort of sense to have a continuation of that particular movie if the original people are not going to make a sequel to Shin Godzilla. Also, let's keep in mind that this is not the only Godzilla movie that's going to come out really soon. There's a movie for like uh, Godzilla vs. Kong for the sequel that's going to come out really soon. And so basically we're getting two Godzilla movies, one this year 
and one next year. So I'm looking forward to seeing both Godzilla movies really soon. But what do you guys think about the trailer? Tell me in the comment section down below. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't <laughs> him for Because black friends are rare as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.